header tags, H1, H2, H3, what are they? Do they matter for search engine optimization? I'm going to start a cat fight with the rest of the SEO community because I'm going to talk in this video about what header tags are and why they matter for your on-page SEO optimization. My name is Jason McDonald, director of the JM Internet Group. Let's get started. Okay, so welcome back, and we're talking about header tags. So the first thing I want to do is just sort of understand what a header tag is. So I built out some little searches here to check out to this. So here we are on Google, and we've done a search for motorcycle insurance quotes, and let's look at some of our search results. So let's look at our number two search result here. So let's open up this Geico page, which is number two for the search motorcycle insurance quote. Let's look at it. Let's right click, view page source, and then we're going to do control F as in Frank, and we're going to do bracket H1, and we're going to see over here the H1 tag. So this tag here is your open header, close header tag. Now let's take a look here, and let's find other occurrences of this tag. Okay, there's only one H1, but let's see if there are H2s. Here's an H2. So what we're looking at is, get my cursor to cooperate here, we're looking at an H2 tag, open H2, close H2, and if you'll notice, Geico has put the target keyword inside of that H2 tag. That's what we're looking at and that's what we're going at. So now let's back up a little bit. So let's go back over here to my little links I built to check this out. Let's look at the Google SEO guide. So all of these links, uh, if you want to get the links, just click on the link in the YouTube video description below, and that'll take you to a landing page that has all the links for this quick take video. I also just want to show you for this guy, you can just go to Google and Google Google SEO guide and you'll get there. Okay, now this is a really useful, important guide from Google. If you don't know about this guide, you should. You want to get it and read it. Now, I want to show you in this guide, go down here to the second page here, it'll cooperate for me. And I want to show here what's going on here. So, all these people are arguing over do header tags matter? Should we use header tags? And I want to show you in this official Google guide use heading tags appropriately. Okay, so now let's do control F again and let's type in heading. And we're going to zig down to it. And we're going to see here in this official Google guide they say use the header tags and essentially they're telling us as SEOs, as web marketers, put our keywords inside of the H1, H2, H3 tags, etc. So here we have the official Google document telling us to use the header tag family. Now let's go back to that motorcycle insurance quote search that we did on Google. And I want to show you, we already looked at Geico and we saw that Geico is using the H1, H2 tag and it's putting its keywords inside. Let's look at somebody else. Let's look at progressive here. So this is number one, number one natural result for this search. Let's look at the progressive page. Let's right click, view page source, control F as in Frank, bracket H1, and let's notice here that these guys are also using the H1, H2 tag family. Now here's where there's a lot of confusion amongst people in the SEO community. Do you have to use the H1, H2 tag family? No, you do not have to use it. However, it is clearly recommended by Google in the official Google SEO guide. So Google says, please use it. Secondly, you can do searches all day long, very competitive searches, motorcycle insurance quote, reverse mortgage, reverse mortgage calculator, online coupons, and you're going to see that many, many, many times your winners in these SEO searches are using the H1, H2 header tag family and they're putting their keywords in those header H1, H2 tag families. So Google says to use it, the winners are using it, 
Now, a lot of graphic designers don't like it. A lot of people want to use style sheets. A lot of people say, blah, blah, blah. We don't want to use it because we don't like it, but the winners use it and Google recommends that you use it. Now, a couple other things we want to talk about. Correlation does not imply causation. Do we know for sure that the H1, H2 is actually propelling these pages to the top or that it's one of the factors? No, we don't know that for sure. We don't know a lot of things for sure about Google and SEO. We have a lot of correlation and not a lot of causation. That's true. That's a problem. We're not sure. So correlation does not imply causation. We're not sure. However, strong indications, for instance, the Google Guide telling us to use it, for instance, the fact that generally the winners in SEO searches use it. But yes, correlation does not imply causation. So final thought here on this quick tip about this issue. I did a little search here for lucky rabbit foot. Now, does carrying a rabbit foot give you luck or is it just correlation? I don't know, but if it works for you, do it. So my bottom line recommendation is to use the H1, H2 tag family correctly as recommended by Google. And am I 100% am I sure that it, it uh, works? No, I'm not, but I believe in it. It's worked for me. It's worked for companies like Progressive and Geico. So my bottom line is I recommend that you do use it if at all possible. So thank you so much for watching this quick tip. Again, the links will be in the YouTube video description. You'll be able to get uh, the little goodies that I referenced uh, in this video. Thank you so much.